Well, we are now live on YouTube. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the induction week uh, of English Literature Academy Program, academic year 2021-2022. In this session, we should have uh, all three cohorts from 2019, 2020, and also 2021 students and also the lecturer of English Literature Study Program. Now, Putiwi, I'll just uh, give the ground uh, to you to have uh, the session started. Over to you. All right, uh, thank you uh, very much. Ulele, before we begin, if you could kindly uh, share the link uh, to YouTube, to the chat room probably. I've already shared that to uh, students WhatsApp groups. I was just concerned that it may have been uh, gone through yet. So good, good afternoon, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam yeah, so, um, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I hope uh, all is well with you. Um, I think I should officially welcome you to the event semester of the academic year 2021-2022. Um, for those uh, who are from 2021 cohort, you are now in semester two. Uh, semester four for 2020 cohort, and then of course, semester six for 2019 uh, cohort. So this induction uh, session as stated in the flyer uh, is intended to introduce you to the courses that you'll be taking this semester. And more importantly, where these courses will take you on the basis of your uh, interest. Among us uh, are some academic advisors. Uh, so we will also spare some time uh, for you and the academic advisor to have um, maybe further talk and discussion in the breakout uh, session later on. Okay, um, so Bulali, I, I'm, I'm checking the number of the participants since it says to 129. So I'm, I'm guessing the quota for the Zoom account is 300. So we good, yeah? We don't need to worry about not having enough uh, space for all students for from three uh, cohorts. Um, we also have here on screen with Yasuti. Uh, who is also in charge of the uh, guidance and counseling, yeah, PK for our uh, study program. So everyone, um, I think um, let's let's not waste our time. So I'm going to spend uh, some time, probably about forty five minutes, to briefly explain uh, to you uh, the course offering for each cohort and also uh, the offering for credit transfer with our partner university, um, partner study program, uh, Sastra Inggris Universitas Negeri Semarang. We've been doing this uh, together with UNES for two semesters already and we'll continue doing this. Um, hopefully um, more courses will also be offered uh, to be taken in Universitas Negeri Malang, yeah, we're still waiting for the list of courses. <clears throat> um, so allow me to share the screen. Yeah. So this is the, uh, you know, the intention of our, our uh, meeting today uh, to introduce you to the, to the courses uh, offered this semester. And I'd like to begin uh, with 2021 cohort. So everyone, um, the reason why we have this session for three cohorts, 2019 to 2021, is that these three cohorts 
are following our MBKM curriculum, ya, yeah? curriculum <coughs> MBKM. With some slight variation, but we could say that the curriculum structure for these three cohorts are more or less the same, yeah, just very slight variation. And in fact, the curriculum structure for both 2020 and 2021 are exactly the same, yeah, unless there are some changes in, in, uh, in the time to come. We, we don't know. It depends on the policy. So let, let's begin with 2021 cohort because this is actually the simplest one. Uh, there are no elective, uh, elective courses yet. Uh, so all you need to do basically is just take anything that is offered. Yeah, mata kuliah paket. So what do we have? Oh, before we, we come to that, I'd like to, to just uh, uh, let you know that uh, we are going to use our website, our Prodi website, more frequently for practically any announcements, any forms that you will need to fill out, yeah, that makes it easier for us actually, because we will just have one gate uh, for uh, sharing information. Um, so we've already prepared um, the course distribution for three uh, cohorts and the link to the Google Drive has been shared through our website. Uh, this is the link. I've already shared the link also to your uh, WhatsApp groups. Yeah, so this is the, the website. Uh, we'll take a look at this uh, very shortly. Uh, but for those who may not yet have time to look at uh, the file, uh, we provided a master copy of the course distribution, uh, the file, and we'd like everyone, every single student to fill out the information, uh, not because we don't have the information on Siakadu. Yeah? The Siakadu is already very complete. We have all the information uh, your grades, your uh, GPA, your uh, TEP score. But the thing is, uh, sometimes we have uh, problems tracking students' progress until quite late, yeah? when uh, some students did not pass some uh, courses, but we cannot really see that in one file. So that's why we decided to have this uh, course distribution uh, in a Google Sheet and everyone will need to have his or her own uh, file so that it won't be overwritten. We'd like you to just uh, take the master copy, uh, download it, and then work, on, work offline, fill out the information, change the name uh, to your student number and then your name, and then after that, upload it. Uh, you upload it to the relevant folder according to your academic advisor's uh, names. And I've just checked uh, uh, an hour ago. I see that some students from 2020 and also 21 cohorts have already uploaded their academic progress. So thank you very much uh, for that. It's going to make it's going to you know make it very easy for your academic advisor to track your progress. Uh, so you will use this file uh, to, uh, you know, to update your information concerning the courses. Uh, if you could kindly uh, mute yourself, please. Uh, uh, mute. Very noisy. All right, thank you very much. Um, so your academic advisor will use this file for uh, kepenasehatan. Uh, so that, uh, hopefully you have no problems with the courses, but just in case there are courses that you may have failed, it will be easy for us to, you know, to help you when to get uh, that score, uh, to get that, uh, that course, yeah? So let, let's just uh, go to the website uh, for a while uh, so that you know what we have there. Um, so the links to the file 
for three cohorts are already provided. Let me just go to Angkatan 2021. So as you see here, we have the master, oh, okay. So I need to stop sharing the screen so I can share this again. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, so in this um, Google Drive, uh, the link is uh, there in the website. There are three uh, folders. Um, but I think you will only be able to see your, your own uh, cohort. Yeah? So let me just look at 2021 uh, cohort. Here we have the master copy. Do not write anything here. Yeah, Just uh, take the file and then after you fill it out, put it in the relevant folder. Uh, I've checked here in the IFIS uh, folder. The students have already uh, uploaded uh, the report. Thank you really very much uh, for this. I really appreciate that. Um, also with uh, Afril's uh, group. And then, so I think I'm 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 just going to 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 use one example to show you from 2020 uh, from Butias uh, Butias's uh, group. Uh, is yoga here? Yoga, allow me to to use your file. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, uploading it already. So it looks like this. Um, with this file, it will be easy for you to know what courses you will take up to semester, semester eight. Yeah. So you could actually plan your study much uh, earlier, whether, for instance, in terms of the concentration, whether you'll be inclined to literature or linguistics, you know what courses uh, to take. In this file, oh yeah, so you need to, of course, fill out your name, student number and everything. Uh, we do not ask you to put your score because again, it's confidential, yeah? So we are just going to look at your grades in Siakadu. <clears throat> we just need to know whether it, uh, you pass or you fail. If it fails, for example, then uh, we know uh, how to help you. <clears throat> and then I'll explain this uh, uh, later. So we also provided uh, slots uh, row for thesis title later on. When you already come up with a thesis title, uh, your DPA needs to know uh, the thesis advisor also, and also the, the, uh, you know, the, another table to track your TEP score. Uh, for example, you guys already uh, done this in semester one. Uh, th this was his score, and just last week uh, with the latest uh, TP, uh, yoga already, you know, nailed it. So yoga, you have nothing to worry about this anymore. Yeah, uh, you're safe. Yeah, you're good. Thank you very much for this. So these are the. This is the distribution in terms of the number of uh, credits. All right, so take time to open your own um, cohort and then make your own uh, progress like this. I'll stop sharing the screen and then I'll just go ahead with, uh, with the course offering. <clears throat> well, we're done with this. All right, so for students from uh, semester two, 2021 cohort, uh, I'll just uh, inform you that there are 10 courses to take. They are all compulsory. Um, the number one up to three are MKU, and then the rest are, you know, English skills uh, um, based, except number nine and 10, in which you'll be introduced to literature and linguistics. Yeah, so introduction to literature and linguistics. These two courses are important to help you identify what is your interest. Uh, so, Take this and love them, not because it, because they are compulsory. 23 uh, credit hours uh, to take. So nothing more to, uh, to explain for this, yeah, unless you have questions. Now, with 2021 cohort, now it becomes a bit tricky, yeah? 
maybe I, I used a wrong word. Sorry for that, honey. Um, but the, the tricky part is that we usually offer students to choose their concentration as late as semester five. And it was even in semester six, yeah, two, three years ago. But with MBKM uh, um, curriculum, we have no choice but to, to push them much earlier in semester four. We actually, we've already done that actually with 2019 cohort. So you're, you're not alone. Uh, 2020 students, you're not alone. We've done this before. So we, we have quite an experience. So what do we have here? Uh, for 2020 cohort. If you look at the course offerings, um, it should be 10. Yeah? So there are 10 uh, courses. The ones that I highlighted actually refer to the courses that you can also take at UNES. Yeah? So credit transfer at UNES for the courses that are uh, highlighted in yellow, academic writing, research method for in literature and linguistics, intrinsic approaches to literature, although the name there is literary criticism, and also semantics and pragmatics. In UNAS, the name is semantics, yeah? But uh, this morning, I had a conversation with Bu Fatma, Ibu Kaprodinya, uh, that we have decided to, uh, to take these uh, courses for credit transfer. But all in all, uh, the courses that we will need to take will be 20 credit hours. Why 20, not 23? Because for um, course number four and five, um, you will need to choose whether you will work on linguistic matters for your script C or literature related, literature and, and culture related for your script C. The other courses are taken by you know, both um, concentrations, only this one. Yeah. Although there is only one course, it is very important because it will also lead to the next semesters. Once you decide to take literature, then the courses to take in semester uh, five will also be different. Uh, as compared to your friends who will be taking linguistics. Okay, so that's why uh, in this case, I also read it down for the academic writing, we have, um, we don't know, maybe three or four groups, uh, depending on the number of students to, to select literature and linguistics. But academic writing, for those who are taking literature, will be different from those who are taking linguistics. So Pak Samad will be handling academic writing for linguistics and I'll take care of the academic writing for literature. All right. Um, if you have questions, you can start putting questions uh, in the chat room, in the chat box. What did I say room? Uh, all right. So, Okay, so let's go to 2019, which is even trickier. Vulali, do we have students from 2019? I saw some students oh. like Lena. Okay, and oh, I, I saw Brittany also. Andy. Okay, uh, so for, uh, for students 2019 cohort, uh, I have to apologize for postponing to explain this to you because we, we, we try to, you know, to find the best way to, uh, to put all the courses. So this is actually um, maybe the best part because we didn't realize that many of you have already finished more than 100 uh, credit hours. Judging by the number of uh, credit hours, actually, according to Buku Perdoman UNESA, you can already take scripsi. Yeah, syaratnya itu. If you already have 100 credit hours, then you can actually take script C. But of course, academically, you still, have, you still need to have more courses yeah, to help you, uh, you know, to gain more knowledge and, and competencies. Yeah. So let's see here. In semester one, two, three, four, um, the, up to semester four, they are still the same. But in semester five, 
um, you know, some took campus mengajar, the others took, uh, you know, new pace, you know, different places. But in average, yeah, we could say that many of you have already um, gained 108. I noticed some students already took 112 credit hours, yeah, which is even, even better. To graduate, you only need to finish 149 credits. Now, so this piece of information is also very important for both 2020, uh, sorry, 2021 and also 2020 cohorts. So please keep this in mind, although this is not yet for you. To be able to finish, you only need to finish, finish means complete, yeah, lolo semua. 149, 145 credits. The thing is for 2019 cohort, you already finished 108, leaving you only maybe very few. Because in semester seven, next semester, all of you will leave campus to do different things, yeah? It could be KKN, it could be Magang, it could be um, study independent or any other forms of MPKM, <clears throat> but it will be done throughout the semester, the whole semester, and it will be counted as 20 credit hours. Yeah, 20 SKS Bunder. We have no more courses to offer in semester seven. Okay, which means Semester six will be your last semester to enjoy being in the class with, with your lecturers, with your friends, yeah, with your classmates. Uh, that's why we need to, you know, to, to make the best uh, of, of this semester. Um, so let's say 20 credits in semester seven. And uh, in addition to six, Credits for scripsi, yeah. Scripsi is always uh, offered in semester uh, eight. That leaves us only with nine credit hours next semester. So you'll be wondering, nine credit hours? I'll be very idle. <laughs> Terlalu banyak nganggur. Nothing to make us busy because maybe the the, the assignments will be very very few. Um, maybe, but we also are thinking of offering some of you to take thesis proposal writing. If you want to start doing your uh, proposal earlier, you could do that. So what courses to take in semester six? Let's see. These are what we offer. Plan A. So for plan A is the first two uh, courses, English for Business Communication and Creative Writing, are um, what is it? We 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 would call this uh, courses that will help you with your uh, internship later on. Yeah, untuk PKL nya nanti, because they are not they are not theoretical courses. They are more practical and product oriented courses. You only need to take one either creative writing or business communication. Yeah, just take one course. Leaving you only six more credits. What to take? Up to you. We have more to offer than what you can take. Uh, you can, you know, work on translation oriented uh, courses like Subtitling and interpreting practice. Yeah, subtitling is a written one. Interpreting is more oral. If you like literature-based courses, we have children's literature. If you want to explore more about uh, linguistics, word English is very, very interesting. If you want to explore more about culture or more interdisciplinary courses, there is gender studies, Australian society and culture, and film appreciation. Plus, if you want to take thesis proposal writing, it's going to be 11 credit hours. But if you want to leave uh, thesis proposal writing in semester seven, then you will have only nine. 
When I say nine, it doesn't mean that you can only take nine. If you want to take all of them, by all means, do so. If you, if you want to have, say, 155 as, as written in your transcript, why not? If you like them, if you want to do that. But if you just want to make it simple, yeah, just take three. And then uh, you could use the rest of your time doing something else. Yeah, maybe taking online courses, maybe cari kerja sampingan or whatever. It's up to you. Yeah. Only nine is uh, necessary. So this is plan A. This plan A, all courses are offered in our study program. What if you want to go shopping yeah, to other study programs at UNESA or even outside UNESA? You can do this. So take English for Business Communication and Creative Writing here at UNESA, and then the other six uh, credits outside Sastra Inggris or even outside UNESA. And then uh, this is proposal writing if you want to take that. But it will be offered every semester anyway, so there is really nothing to worry about. But then since we also get offer from UNES who are also offering this course, you can actually take creative writing and business communication at UNES. Yeah, so you can take this at UNES and then the other courses, the other six ones here at UNESA, that's possible. Or you want to take all of them at UNES, that's also possible. So you will become UNES students for the whole semester, uh, except uh, this is proposal writing. Okay, uh, so yeah, it's MBKM, you're free, you're free to learn, not to be free not to learn anything. Now, the question is, are you eligible to take thesis proposal writing in semester six? As long as your um, cumulative GPA is at least 3.5, and then your TEP score has already achieved the minimum score of 527, inform your academic advisor, yeah, JPA, that you want to take uh, KPW this semester. Uh, we've already checked uh, the data, so we're guessing maybe about 15 students will be eligible for this. It's an offer. You can take this or you can just postpone this until next semester, in semester seven. So in semester seven, if we look at the curriculum structure or the curriculum distribution, the, the course distribution in semester seven, um, you will, you know, you can think of doing uh, magang because we have some partnerships. Ada beberapa kemitraan. We can have a different session on, on this uh, sometime in the middle of the semester. Uh, and then plus. Uh, this is proposal writing. So it's going to be 22 uh, credits. And then I think one more slide. These are the courses uh, offered by UNES and also UNES students who come to our place. Semantics, pragmatics, uh, we will need five students from this uh, course. So Buwit, Pak Adam, since you are in charge of this class, I'd, I'd like to have five students. Uh, Pali, Intrinsic Approach to Literature, please send five students to UNES and then have five students from UNES to Pali's class. Pa Khoiri, uh, Creative Writing, uh, five students from both UNESA and UNES. And then Bu Ifi and also Pak Adam, uh, since uh, both are in charge of English for Business Communication, there is an offer to do this at UNES for English for Business Purposes. And then Budiana with children's literature, academic writing, uh, both concentrations. Uh, and for this, we will need to have three students for each year, yeah? linguistics and literature. And then research methods in linguistics, five students, and research methods in literature, five students. Okay, so that's it. All right then. Ulele, over to you. I think uh, I'd like to hear uh, 
more from our students about this. Uh, right. So, David, thank you very much, uh, everyone. So, yeah. So, yeah. if you have any questions, I noticed that probably 2019 students might, you know, getting curious about their uh, progression in terms of the credit semester. So please ask directly, you can unmute yourself and uh, ask, uh, okay. So I have Hanif raise, raising his hand, so Hanif, mm -hmm. please. All right, um, thank you very much for uh, the time. So I want to ask two questions. The first one is regarding the credit transfer at UNES. So uh, will the system of the credit transfer be the same as what we did last time? Mm -hmm. And my second question is regarding the curriculum MPKM itself. I've mm -hmm. heard from my relative that uh, English literature students could not be uh, joining the campus mengajar anymore. Uh, is that true or not? Because I heard that uh, it is hard for English literature students to convert their score if they join Campus Mengajar. Okay, okay. thank you. All right. Uh, are we collecting questions or uh, we could just go ahead to respond? Maybe it's better to go ahead with okay. uh, responding the question. We'll do it. All right, thank you. Uh, so Hanif, uh, the first uh, question, the, the credit transfer system that we used uh, in semester five or semester three uh, for you, was actually much smoother. It uh, it went more smoothly as compared to the the previous one. But the previous in the previous one, I remember I, it, it took me uh, almost two months to have some uh, grades converted. But in semester in the odd semester, we already have a stronger system of Mel Melissa. So once I received scores from from you, actually, you just send me the screenshot. I did not need to wait for an official letter from UNES. I could just convert the grade to Melissa and yeah, it's directly, uh, it's automatically uh, entered in your transcript. So we're good about this, honey. Don't worry about, about this. The second question, Campus Mengajar. Um, I guess the maybe I could I could share the the screen then uh, to give the yeah so I'm going to use yoga's um, distribution again this one so Hanif since yoga is also from the same board if you look at this um, I think now I need to explain this yeah so you are now in semester four. In semester five, um, there will be two courses that are compulsory. So this one is quite different from 2019, yeah? Uh, so two courses that are compulsory, intercultural communication and then English for tourism. So that's four, yeah, for, for credits. And then writing strength, business communication, creative writing, and then English for media communication. The name was language and media for 2019. And now we change that to English for media and communication. You only need to take one, okay? So I guess now you could start thinking, saya suka yang mana ya? So that's three, so four plus three, and then translation strand. We have three uh, offers, uh, literary translation, sub, subtitling, yeah correct, uh, it's, it's misspelled, and interpreting practice. Just take one. We used to offer this in different semesters, but with MPKM, of course, we have to squeeze uh, the, the number of SKS, ya. jumlah SKS-nya dikurangi betul. So four, three, and then two, and then if you take literature here, if you take research method in literature, then in semester five, this will be your elective courses. World literature, extensive approach to literature, children's literature, or American literature. You could take two out of four. 
Um, if you take research methods in linguistics this semester, in semester five, you will take linguistics, stylistics, word English, and discourse, and multimodality. Take two out of four. And then uh, four more courses from the culture strand, pop culture, gender, Australian, and film appreciation. Take one. So all in all, yeah, four credit uh, units, and then three plus two plus four, or plus four from here, and then plus one. In total, 2020 cohort students will take 15. Yeah, a bit more, agak banyak sedikit. 2019 students will have to take, will need to take only nine. You will take 15. And then in semester six, this is to answer Hanif's question. In semester six, Hanif, um, it's actually even two semesters to leave campus. Yeah, you could either take student exchange, credit transfer anywhere. Tidak ada lagi mata kuliah di jurusan. So you could go to any universities. Um, or you could take KKN, independent study, uh, proyek kemanusiaan, kewirausahaan, magang riset, and this is proposal writing. If uh, So it's the same as, as 2019. Uh, or the same, uh, you know, the same schemes, uh, except for internship. We did not, uh, yeah, we're not offering internship in semester six, but we put it in semester seven. So in that case, honey, actually campus mengajar can be part of this. Yeah, but let's not do that in semester four. Now, why? You still have a lot to take this semester. If you take campus mengajar this semester, I don't know when you will be taking this, or you can take this with your junior, yeah, angkatan 2021 boleh if you want to. But um, we 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 are um, considering postponing this to semester six and seven. You're free to go wherever you want to go, whatever you want to take, including campus mengajar if, if you'd like it. If you want, if you're interested in campus mengajar, you take it in semester six. So you could keep semester seven for magang kerja. Yeah, it's very important for your career. And then, yeah, of course, this is proposal writing and then thesis. I, maybe you have some questions. Is it is is it possible for me to finish earlier? If earlier means semester seven, the answer is no. But if earlier means early semester eight, the answer is yes. For example, if you take thesis proposal writing in semester six, in semester seven, while doing magang, you could continue working on your article if it is still in the form of an article. And then when you uh, you take scripsy in semester eight, you could directly have the examination sometimes in February or March. So you'll be done quite early, but it will still be counted as eight semesters, of course. So Hanif, I hope that answers your questions. Yes, thank you very much. No problem. Right, thank you, Hanif, and also Butiwi. Now I'm inviting Andin. Uh, all right. Yes, uh, thank you so much for the time. Uh, I actually have a few questions regarding uh, the courses for the 2019 cohort. Uh, for the thesis proposal writing, if we take the TPW in semester six, do mm -hmm. we also need to take it take it again in semester seven, or we can just do like internship or KKN? Yeah. And oh, all right. Yeah. And if if we do magang like mm -hmm. in semester six, is it okay for us? And if we do magang in semester six, do we still need to take any other projects in semester seven, like KKN or mm -hmm. uh, independent study? All right, so for that, I think we need to look at the PowerPoint again for us for 2019 cohort. Uh, what is the PowerPoint? This one. Okay, so Andine, let's take a look at this. Um, so 
your question relates to this, yeah, credit unit with uh, thesis proposal writing in semester six. If you take uh, TPW here, you don't need to take this in semester seven. Yeah, uh, what is the ending of TPW? You're going to do a seminar. Yeah, a presentation, and you already did that in Excel actually, so it, it, it should be fine. But you don't need to take the away again in semester seven. You could spend the whole semester to do uh, internship. Uh, of course, you will still need to continue working on the article or your scripty because you will have to defend that yeah, in semester eight. And how about magang? Uh, is it possible to do magang in semester six? The thing is, um, we believe, we feel that we haven't actually given you sufficient, uh, you know, back, saku, uh, sangu, yeah, for, for internship. That's why if you look at these courses, they are not theoretical courses. Uh, maybe except for children's literature, probably. But the, the other courses are more practical, uh, problem-based, project-based, and also case studies, especially with uh, business communication, creative writing, subtitling, interpreting. Uh, even in, in gender, with a lot of theories, we will also have some, some workshops. So semester seven is this. Whether you take this here at UNESA or outside with some electives, Magang will be done in semester seven for the whole semester in any form. What are the forms? Don't worry, we'll have another induction session uh, concerning Magang. So we, we need to introduce you with our partners. Yeah? Uh, partner, partner kita selama Magang itu kemana saja. We will continue working on that. Uh, one is with Desa Wisata. Uh, you, we have 16 students um, going to Desa Wisata for their internships. It's part of the HIBA MBKM that we received from Kemdiput. So, Andini, that is my response. Hopefully, that satisfies you. Uh, yes, but I actually have one more question regarding semester six. Mm -hmm. uh, can For the 2019 cohort, can we still take... Uh, Campus Merdeka, uh, like taking courses in outside of uh, English literature? Why not? As, as I said here, this is plan A. So in plan A, um, all courses are taken here at UNESA. But plan B, this is plan B. You can take as many as six credit hours outside our study program or even outside UNESA. Okay, so maybe it uh, equals three courses, yeah, tiga mata kuliah. Anywhere, anywhere, even though it's not related, yeah. Misalnya, ke perikanan. If you think you know something about perikanan, then you want to take that, why not? It's okay, yeah. Uh, and then, as I said uh, earlier, uh, Andini, since with the, our credit transfer with UNES, they are also offering similar courses, yeah, business communication and creative writing, you could go to UNES for the whole semester to take these courses. Yeah, creative writing, they focus on journalistic, yeah, creative writing, creative journalistic writing. Uh, ours is three, their credit is two, but the conversion will still be three. Yeah, so you're lucky. Kulia dua, diakui tiga. That's part of the deal, actually. Yeah. Uh, 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 in 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 a in a similar way, uh, the literary criticism is for credit hours, but UNES students who go to UNES will will just need to take two. Nanti diakui empat. That's part of the deal again. Yeah. So Andini, up to you. You could you could go wherever uh, wherever you want uh, to take the courses. The minimum is just nine. You can take 20 if you want. Okay. Uh, all right, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, Bulani, over to you. Yeah, so we have Bulina raising her hand. 
Lina, do you want to ask something? <laughs> to mem- yeah. Really, please. <laughs> Actually, this is not a question, but this is related to what we are going to have this semester. Uh, this is the policy in UNESA that we are going to conduct hybrid, which is which we still do not know. Yeah, mm-hmm. how the mechanism is. Um, I'm I'm just wondering if the students are taking courses outside UNESA online. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, yeah. online. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I discussed that with yeah, that's Fatma why Fatma this morning. Uh, UNES is also doing hybrid. For now, it's going to be half online, half offline, but at the same time. So students from UNESA will will just be at home going online, but UNES students, you know, from Semarang, they, they, they can they can have the courses there. So it's it's just like the uh, the SMP SMA yeah, yeah hybrid, but again that is UNES policy. UNES policy we still don't know. Yeah, uh, what what I can say is that for now we already have this agreement. Uh, the paperwork is being uh, uh, prepared, but let's just wait until uh, end of this week or maybe as late as next week. I think by February the seventh we will already know whether the first meeting will be full offline or half online, half offline, we, we don't know. All courses are already on Siakadu, everyone. If So if you already paid your ukate and you know what courses to take, just contact your uh, DPA, you can start taking courses already. Thank you, Bulina, for reminding me of this. Uh, we have one question from Margareta. Yeah. Uh, for 2019 cohort regarding semester seven, can they take scripts along with Magang? Okay, thank you. We we did discuss that, yeah. But um, Margareta, the thing is, the maximum credits that students can take is maybe no more than 24. If you take Magang, and which uh, is uh, counted as 20, plus scripsy, six credit hours, that's 26. We won't be allowed to do that. The system, Siakadu, will reject us. Uh, so the, the best thing we could do is, if you could take the pay with this semester, then you can work on that with, uh, with your, uh, oh yeah, one, one thing that I forgot to mention. If you do take the pay with this semester, we will set we will match you with those and pambinding scripts already. So you won't be working alone, of course. Uh, you will have those and pambinding scripts uh, and he or she will help you throughout uh, the process, even though you are not taking scripts yet in semester seven. So work on your article, you can publish it in a nationally accredited journal, wait until semester eight, Take the course, Scripsy, and then have it examined in February or March. You'll be done. Sounds very enticing, yeah? Sangat menggoda. All right. All right, we have Gusti. Yeah. Lena? Uh, thank you for the opportunity, ma'am. Uh, some students are wondering if we can use our ITP score Mm-hmm. And how about the students whose ITP or TEP score is uh, uh, 527, not mm-hmm. more than 527, but 527. Yeah, that is the minimum score. So 527, yes. ITP, how about the ITP? ITP is actually even better. If you have ITP, it's even more, what is really, it's more acceptable. It's nationally recognized. Yeah, so yeah, by all means, use your ITP score. Thank you so much, ma'am. No problem. Okay, please, everyone. I know you are very curious about the upcoming semester. So yeah. while we are having the session, please, by all means, ask question that you have been wondering throughout this uh, time.
I really sense this enthusiasm of taking TP with me early. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, Brittany, and after that, uh, we think I'm this Brittany. Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Lily, for the opportunity. So, uh, Ma'am Tiwi mentioned that if we have an article that has been uh, published in National Journal, mm -hmm. it means that we can directly uh, send it to the examination in semester eight. Does mm -hmm. it mean that we don't need to make scripsy? Um, we haven't actually discussed that. Um, I still don't know whether I can answer that question, but I do realize that you ha you've already had an article. So Brittany's article is, is part of the, the ones in CRC, Puleli? Oh, uh, no. The one who was sent to CRC was uh, Rian. Oh, Rian. Okay. Um, Brittany, if you could just tell us more about, about the, the article. You already have one article published. I yeah, some students as well, like Andine and okay. the, I couldn't remember the rest. Like we have four or five students mm -hmm. that already sent their well, we have, to Excel. In in AP, we have Brittany, Brittany, correct me if I'm wrong, Brittany, Dinda, Cynthia, and the other one is Andini. Mm. Andini, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think for now, let's just collect their articles and see, we could, we could make decision whether uh, it can be counted as the product of Scripsy or uh, they, they will still need to, you know, to write another article. I, 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 I really cannot answer that question now, but of course, um, uh, officially you still need to take the PV, yeah. In terms of taking courses, we will, we will need to be part of your uh, transcript along with scripts later on. Whether or not you will need to take another research, write something else, or that one can be considered as the product, we'll come to that decision later. But thank you for, for mentioning this. Thank you. Thank you. Again, again, Thank though, you. Brittany, oh. judging judging by what we know about some students, why don't we just push you to the edge and write something else <laughs> instead of just using that? You could write something else, and an even better one. Okay, let's not be satisfied easily. Right. Yeah. Now, bring on, please. Uh, I want to ask uh, for UM Universitas Negeri Malang. Uh, you said earlier that we have some agreement. Um, mm -hmm. If we might be interested in that, so we are waiting until like before KRS maybe for yeah. the courses. Thank you, Pinkan. We'll we'll update you on that. I haven't received uh, the the list of courses, but Malang has already started their uh, semester. This this week or next week actually UNES will begin their semester in the four on the 14th of february so um and then unesa and then unes we're you know we're in the middle so we'll update you on that um what courses to take but i remember my discussion with uh caprodi and sastra Inggris um uh, previously they are actually interested in having students to take 20 credit hours, all courses at, at UM. And the same thing, sending UM students to UNESA and take the whole 20 credit hours. Uh, and that, that one is, is, is a bit tricky, of course. It's like, you know, barter, barter mahasiswa. With UNES, it's, it's simpler. Okay, but yeah, we'll, we'll come to that. Thank, Thank you. you Right, more questions, everyone? We do it probably, uh, this one is a bit uh, not personal, but more directed to 2020 cohort students. Mm -hmm. so some of them are, you know, kind of meeting me the day mm -hmm. before 
or yesterday and the week before, like asking, uh, what should I take? Like, should I take linguistics uh -huh. or should I take literature? So uh -huh. probably you can, you know, like introduce what's there in linguistics and what's there in literature, though I have like introduced them more to a linguistics because mm. I am part of linguistics uh, teachers here. So probably the session is going to be a lot greater if we mm. can talk about that as well. Thank you. Uh, that is very, very important. If I could invite Pa Khairi to talk about what to take in literature, please. Pa Khairi. All right. the subjects. So basically, uh, the students need to know um, what areas or what topics to write about yeah. if they choose literature. Yeah, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the, of course, there are, when you take literature, there are some uh, courses to be taken. Uh, say, for example, you have your, uh, you know, uh, creative writing, the elective one, you know, and also some, uh, say, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, communication? Yeah, cultural communication, yes. Uh, cultural those, communication. Yeah, those are actually for both linguistics yeah. and literature, but okay. the one that's specifically literature would be you know, children's lit, American children literature, literature. You, uh, you will see, you know, gender uh, studies, you will see uh, the object of your scripts later on, or your article, you, uh, you know, write on, say, for example, uh, you know, a novel, a certain topic, say, for example, uh, concerning, uh, uh, related to psychology, sociology, uh, you know, psychoanalysis, and so on and so forth. And then the, the object would be about, uh, uh, you know, uh, novels, uh, poetry, and so on and so forth. And also, you can learn, uh, you can study on the movies, yeah, movies. Uh, and the uh, newest one, uh, we can talk about, uh, you know, subjects, uh, sorry, objects uh, from cultural studies. Today, there is, uh, you know, uh, uh, one student uh, using uh, cultural studies approach, yeah, talking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, what is it, uh, uh, people, uh, sorry, a person's uh, performing, you know, uh, cooking, <laughs> cooking uh, a certain menu, yeah, so uh, that is seen from cultural studies. So uh, it's up to you, of course. Uh, uh, this is a passion. When you read, uh, when you take literature, of course, uh, you will see uh, with Putiwi, uh, and Dai, and Pak Ali, and that uh, Bu Mami, and then Bu Diana, and also Bu Lala still out there in the, in the you know, States. Uh, you will see also, uh, that's it, uh, as we'll do together with us. Uh, and uh, of course, your literary courses uh, would be, you know, uh, accompanied by, uh, you know, elective courses such as uh, creative writing. And suatu uh, saat, in your PKL, for example, anda bisa ngambil, you'll take your uh, desa pariwisata, for example. Yeah. Ini berarti uh, content courses, uh, sorry, content, content writers, you'll be uh, in the future, in the future, you will uh, specify your, your profession on, say, for example, uh, what is it, uh, content writers, uh, creative uh, content writers, uh, creative themes, and so on and so forth, like, say, for example, Britney, uh, Diniar, and, uh, Almira, and so on and so forth. In this case, uh, you are actually in this, uh, you know, room for, or space for that, uh, you know, uh, scope. So that is literature. Uh, the other one, of course, uh, you know, uh, linguistics. And I think uh, both are interesting uh, based on
on your own passion. Yeah, we do not uh, want to force you to uh, choose one. Yeah, it is you. Yeah, yesterday there is a, you know, there was a question from uh, who is it? Tasa, Tasa Kurina. Yeah, Tasa Kurina, jauh dari Jember sana. Uh, he asked me about. Uh, okay, he has uh, the illustration. She wants to be uh, taking her PKL someday in the you know diplomatic uh, office, and in the future perhaps uh, she wants to work there. For example, uh, she asked me what uh, you know. Uh, uh, in this case, what is water to be taken? Is it the literature or uh, or, or linguistics. Uh, my simple uh, answer is this. Okay, have a look at the, you know, uh, courses over there uh, belongs belonging to linguistic and belonging to literature. Which one is most, uh, you know, which is closest to uh, the competence you are learning during uh, the semesters and, and you know, and, and your study. Itu. Saya kira begitu. Okay. Nanti bisa ditambah lagi. Thank you. Thank you, Pak Fairy. I think I think now uh, I can I can just give you more information just just to sort of visualize it, yeah, so that you know uh, whom to help you and what to write. So I'm I'll be thinking aloud while talking. I'll also be writing. Um, for now. Um, so all in all, we actually have 18 um, lecturers, yeah. But some of them are uh, studying um, for, you know, for the for further study. Uh, Bu Bulala uh, in the US and Bu Lisetio in uh, Hungary. So for now, there are six uh, people who can help you as your docent pamitming scripti in linguistics. And then five uh, for now for uh, literature. For example, um, Pak Slamet, Pak Slamet's expertise is in linguistics, sociolinguistics, sociolinguistics, I think. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Sociolinguistics, so anything that has to do with the, how language is used in the society, uh, that is Pak Slamet's expertise. Uh, if you like to work on anything that has to do with translation, yeah, that's Buwit's expertise. And then if you like to work on how language is used in the media or uh, different variations of English, word Englishes, that's uh, Bulina's area. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, if, if I need to add some more. And then Buayurita likes to work on anything related to uh, sounds, yeah, phonology. Uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot connect uh, all these areas. It's of course possible to discuss phonology in relation to social linguistics. Yeah, if you try to listen to how people from Surabaya speak as compared to people from Jogja, phonologically speaking, the way we speak are very different. Yeah, Ulele's uh, expertise is in multi modality, multimodality and discourse. So that discourse is discourse and multimodality. Now if we look the, at sorry, uh, there is an additional information from yes. for Bulina's expertise book. What is it? Um in the chat box. Oh, okay. it's what is it? Oh, pragmatics and bilingual. Oh, oh bilingualism. Yeah. So yeah please uh help me read that bilingualism. <laughs> Like anything else that I miss? These areas are very so. important. Pragmatics. Okay, so pragmatics. Pragmatics. Anything else? Where should I put this course? Morphology. Now? Yeah, morphology oh. and syntax. Yeah. Who with? Yeah. Okay. Pa, yeah, Pak Adam, it could be. So I'll write down morpho. And syntax. Morpho. What did I write down like this? Mor Mor Morpho. Yes. Morphology yes. and syntax, everyone. Yeah. And then Pak Adam also with morpho and syntax. Or if you like 
uh, to study how people could be saksi ahli. So uh, forensic linguistics, yeah, that is also Pak Ajang. Yes, yeah. So I'll write down forensic linguistics. Yeah, you might want to analyze movies and how movies can show forensic linguistics. Yeah, yeah and also crime. <laughs> yeah, crime. <laughs> then, okay, so these are the areas. And then with literature, Pak Khoiri is um, like to do anything that has to do with the sociological approach to literature. Uh, for example, if you want to study how uh, a character ex exercises upward mobility, yeah, ansos, yeah, pancat sosial dalam sebuah novel. Uh, why did I write on social linguistics? Socio sociology, yeah, sociology in literature, oh. yeah, and then and and literature. Uh, uh, sorry, literacy, literacy in literature. Bro. Literacy, okay, literacy practices. Yeah, in literature, in literary works, in movies also. And then Pali likes to work on psycho, psycho analysis. So, so psychoanalytical approach to literature, yeah? Jungian concept, Freudian concept, uh, Laconian concept, gender is also included there. Um, my area is, <laughs> I, like, I like anything that has to do with gender or post-colonialism uh, and post-colonialism and also literacy, yeah, literacy in literature. Yeah. Our areas are actually sort of crisscross, yeah, saling-saling berkaitan. Who, mommy, I see that some students, uh, are assisted by Pumami in areas on gender, uh, POSCO also. Pumami, are you here, Pumami? Anything I need to add there? Uh, Eco-criticism, huh? Just not here. Oh, not here, okay. So eco-criticism is also there. Although it doesn't mean that Pali cannot help you with eco-criticism, we, we can do that. But we actually encourage students to you know, to take the areas that are also uh, within the umbrella of the uh, advisors' uh, expertise. And then Budiana is really into children's literature. So I guess your question now is, what if I like to discuss uh, advertisements, but not from the perspective of linguistics? Everyone, maybe it's about time for us, so 2019 students. If you could think of a topic in which the Board of Examiners, yeah, the one pengujinya, is from both linguistics and literature, that's possible if you want to work on culture. Um, I'd like to add rows below. So for example, you, you want to work on film. Here, film is also part of literature. So for example, if you want to discuss a movie or even a novel, in this case, novel can also be discussed in linguistics, but from a stylistics perspective, yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking if you take film or novel uh, from, uh, a particular perspective, it's possible. We'll try to see the possibility of having one examiner from the other uh, strand, yeah? It's possible. Uh, so I'd like to invite students from 2019 cohort. So bisa dapat dari dua 2019 and also 2020, of course. Yeah, you're taking research. This. So hopefully this helps you, uh, you know, determine. Saya suka yang mana ya? You you'll be going shopping. Personal lah. Yeah, all areas are very interesting. Everyone, why did I say that? My undergraduate thesis was in social linguistics, so I studied gender and language in dialect Surabaya. 
very social linguistics tidak ada sastranya sama sekali. But then I shifted to literature for my masters, and then I shifted to cultural studies for my PhD. But you know, I'm now I, I now believe that there is a connecting dot. My connecting dot is gender. Apapun itu, if gender is there, then I'll do that. Gender and literacy. In social linguistics, I took gender. In my master's thesis, I also took gender. In my PhD thesis, it's, it's also gender. So in that case, gender studies is very interdisciplinary. You could discuss gender here or here. You could discuss eco-criticism here or here. We have an area called eco linguistics. Here we have equal criticism. So, tidak ada bedanya sebenarnya. Lena's question is relevant dulu. Yes, Lena's question. In the chat? Yeah. yeah. So, she asked, uh, just the topic we chose in uh, the TPW is yeah. also yeah. for our yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Exactly. And even ideally, This is for, this is to to for 2020 students yeah, to uh, consider whatever draft you will produce in research method and academic writing because there's going to be just one product for both courses academic writing and research method will have one product a research proposal or maybe even an article ideally you will work on that for your scripts later on sudah dicicil sejak semester 4 Of course, you can change. Yeah, you can you can change your mind. Yeah, but it's always good to plan uh, early. All right. Istikharah. Yeah, istikharah. You may also have this question. <laughs> Would be, what if I'm interested in social linguistics and it has to do with gender? Can I still talk to you about gender? Why not? Okay. All of us are ready for, you know, just easy discussions, even though we are not officially your uh, docent of Even Scripsy. Yeah, if you, if you, you it's blank. Saya nggak tahu mau nulis apa. You can come to my house, Pak Khairis house. Ada banyak novel yang belum di di dianalisis di situ. Sampai bokong kalian kobong juga ada. Yeah. <laughs> if you can see my background, I have a lot of books there. Masih banyak novel yang belum belum teranalisis sampai sekarang. Uti, but I'm pretty sure that they already have their topics yeah. and when they got research method in linguistics yeah. or either literature yeah. so at least they they're not what is it they're not doing their TPW from scratch of course yeah if the TPW usually it doesn't start from scratch it usually is a development of a research method the thing is you know for 2019 student they took research method in semester uh, four, and now it's semester six. Yeah. Oh, one year already, I hope they still remember. All right, if you have no more questions, I guess we could just go ahead with the breakout uh, session. Well, if you could help whether uh, the breakout set the breakout rooms that I created. Uh, I haven't created any breakout room. I, I, I have, yet. I just need to, oh. To click um, open. open. Okay, because just... I, I'm not sure how many uh, lecturers are actually here. Uh, we need, so we need to have... have... Not everyone is here. No, not everyone. But we need to have those who are the DPA for 2021, 20, and 19. So I wrote down here, who April, is who April here? Yes. Okay, yeah. so we have Bu Avril and then Bu Ifi. Oh, I haven't written down Bu Ifi. Is Bu Ifi here? I believe we have a participant okay. named Ifi. Yes, he is here. Okay, yes, I'm here. So we have yeah. Bu Ifi and then Bu Avril. Uh, who else? Mm, Mami. Bu Mami. Bu Ayunita, Bu. Bu Ayunita, yes. Let me check. Number nama DPA. 
Hmm, we will add um our let me uh, see supervising since cohort um before our uh sorry yeah before our name book so you won't get okay won't let me just no I, I already created breakout rooms with oh, the, the, with the with the DPS names so for 2021 we have we have Bu April and then Bu Mami that's right so let me add Bu Mami here is Bu Mami here no, unfortunately. So in that case, I don't need to, to create the group then. Bu April, Bu Ayunita, Bu Ayunita, is Bu Ayunita in Bu Sisil also, yeah. Bu Sisil, Bu Sisil can help, yeah. And then for 2020, we have Adam, Bu Laili, Bu Tias, and also Bu Tiwi. Oh, I'm included. Yes. <laughs> you know, I sometimes I have the feeling that I'm the DPM for all students. Oh my goodness. Matter for all. Matter for all. But Adam would yes, Bulali. Oh, I should create one group. And then for 2019, we I am. Pak Khairi, Pak Khairi sudah, Bu Wit sudah, Bu Lina. Lina. Yes. All right, then everyone. Uh, so you'll join the breakout session uh, according to the name of your uh, DPA. And let's spend maybe 15 to 30 minutes at most yeah, to, discuss, oh. to discuss anything. And then 15 after that, to? And we back to the main room, Putiwi? And I don't think so. We could just, you know, finish. Oh, and then we leave. Balik mana nanti lali. We can stop live stream. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, we can please stop live stream to YouTube. Okay. All right now, then. Because we are going uh, to.